Hello, I'm Dr. Ian McCullough from Johns Hopkins University. This is a short lecture, lecture on social network analysis, network centralization. We have one learning objective, calculate centralization by hand. We will do this for three centrality type measures, degree centralization, betweenness centralization, and closeness centralization. Notice that these sound very similar to degree centrality, betweenness centrality, and closeness centrality. However, centrality and centralization are slightly different. Centrality is about the central importance of a given node. Centralization describes the extent to which one or a few nodes dominate the network. So again, centralization is a measure of the centralities of all nodes in the network. A highly centralized network, that's with a centralization value that's high, closer to one, is a network that is dominated by one or a few nodes. If these nodes are removed or damaged, the network quickly fragments into unconnected subnetworks. In this example, uh, the two networks you see below, the star network is the most centralized network. This network structure where one node is connected to everybody else and everybody else is only connected to that central node is the most centralized network. In this case, Agent 4 dominates the network by all centrality measures. A lattice network is the least centralized. This is where every node has the exact same centrality value by all centrality measures that occurs in a lattice where the degree of every node is 2. The formula for network centralization and we put an X there because it could be degree centralization, between the centralization, or closeness centralization, or virtually any other centrality measure for that matter. It equals the sum of this difference. The difference is the maximum centrality in the network, so the most central value, minus the centrality of each individual node. So the I index refers to each node in the network in these examples here. There are six agents, so we would have from one to six. So you would take the maximum centrality value in the star network, that would be the centrality of value for agent four, and you would subtract four, you know, agent four centrality from uh, agent one centrality, then add that to agent four centrality minus agent two centrality, then agent four centrality minus agent three centrality, then agent four minus agent four centrality, etc. And that is how you would enumer enumerate the numerator. That is then divided by the maximum for the network. The maximum will be the this quantity calculated on a star network of similar size. Let's look at some examples. Again, the star network is the most centralized and defines that max value in the denominator. So the star network will of course have a network centralization of one because the numerator and the denominator are the same. The value for the ring network is going to be zero. And that is because the maximum centrality, in this case, if we we're looking at degree, for example, the degree centrality would be two. Every node is two. So that would be, for agent one, two minus two is zero. For agent two, two minus two is zero, etc. So every value in the numerator will be zero, creating a network centralization of zero. We can do a little better in the numerator, or in the denominator, by calculating the maximum sum of differences. So if we look at the maximum value that a degree centrality can have in a network, it would be n minus one. And the value that you would have of every other actor in that case would be at least one connection back to the central node. So n minus 1 minus 1 would be the quantity n minus 2. If we have that quantity then summed from 1 to n, that means it is 
n minus 1 times, we have the quantity n minus 2 times n minus 1. Suppose we add links to the star network here. The maximum centrality, n minus 1, now we are subtracting 2 for the additional two links. We have n minus 3, and this difference is not maximum anymore. Suppose we remove a link from the star network. We're now going to have a entry in which we have n minus 2 minus 0 for an isolate node, and we'll have n minus 3 for the other nodes. These differences are still not maximum. Thus, n minus 2 is the maximum difference that can be achieved in a network. Therefore, we can describe the network centralization as the value we described earlier in the numerator. The denominator can simply be written as n minus 2 times n minus 1. There is no need to iterate what a star network of similar size would be for every single network because we have done that in a closed form solution. So for the star network we have six nodes so the numerator is going to be evaluated as the sum from 1 to 6. The maximum centrality value is 5 connections, 5, minus the centrality of every other node in the network. Now for five of those nodes, that centrality value is one, one link connecting back to the central node. And for that fourth agent, it will be the same as the maximum centrality for the network. So the numerator is then five times five minus one, plus one time of five minus five, which is 20. The denominator is going to follow the formula n minus 2 times n minus 1 or 4 times 5 which is 20 thus the centrality value is 1. If we look at the ring network we also have a sum of 1 to 6 in this case the maximum centrality is 2 and every other centrality value for all nodes in the network are 2 thus we have 6 times at 2 minus 2 or 0 over 20 equals zero. So take a moment to make sure that you understand these concepts. I will add that if you scale the centrality measures the calculations perform the same. Although it does affect the denominator. Thus we would ask you to use unscaled values for network centralization degree. We will now move our attention to network centralization betweenness. Again, it follows a similar formula, except you'll notice the denominator is now n minus 1. We do not derive that denominator for you, but leave it as an exercise for interested students. Again, the star network will have a centrality value of betweenness of 1 for agent 4 because it falls on the shortest path of all other paths in the network. None of these peripheral nodes have any betweenness centrality at all. Thus the numerator is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 which gives you 5 over 5 or a betweenness central centralization of 1. In a similar fashion for the ring network, the betweenness centrality value is 0.2, and you will find that it's 0.2 for every node in the network. Thus, this becomes 0 over 5 or 0. Notice that here we're using the scaled betweenness centrality value. Network centralization closeness. You will notice again that the denominator has changed for closeness centralization 
and as before we leave this as an exercise for interested students to verify. In the star network the maximum centrality value is 1 and the centralization of or the centrality value for the other peripheral nodes are 5 ninths thus 1 minus 4, 5 ninths is 4 ninths and we will see the numerator as 4 ninths plus 4 ninths plus 4 ninths plus 0 plus 4 ninths plus 4 ninths or 20 ninths the maximum for the denominator is 20 ninths which gives us a centralization closeness of 1 in the ring network all the centrality values are the same which gives us a value of zero this has been a short lecture on network centralization this is Dr. Ian McCullough Johns Hopkins University